Hello there, my name is Wayne and I just wanted to follow up those three tests of the Bluetooth headsets with some pretty interesting things. What I've discovered is in real life tests, the Motorola is all over the other two headsets. So I did those tests on this website three weeks ago where I was just recording um, through a phone, but I've been using the three Bluetooth headsets on the road for the last three weeks. And what I found is in real life, the Jabra is worse than in those tests. The, um, what was the other one? The Parrot is worse than the, in those tests and the Motorola one is better. Now, what's the difference between real life and those tests? Not a lot. All I can think of is that in the tests, I was sitting in the car with the car running, but I wasn't actually driving, so there would have been a lot less background noise. Whereas in real life, there's a lot more background noise and somehow, that makes the Motorola work better, whereas it makes the other two worse. So at the moment, for example, I'm driving along at 100 kilometers an hour, I'm on the highway, and as you can hear yourself in the test right now, you should be able to hear me really clearly. Whereas what I've found is I've been using the Jabra and I've been using the Parrot as I'm driving along in the car trying to talk to people, and I've had people saying things like, you know, I can't hear you, can you say that again? What was that? Sometimes I've had to just ring up, um, tell them I'll ring them back later when I get home because it's been so bad. Someone told me my voice sounded really garbled. So the Jabra and the Parrot, basically unusable in real life. The Motorola, really good. And um, what else do you need to know? I think it's, it's somehow it's been designed to work at its best in this environment where your head is about a foot from the Motorola and there's a bit of background noise. For example, if I move my head up close to the headset, I might, I might be thinking actually it'll work better if I get closer, but it doesn't. So this is me holding my head right up close to the Motorola and I'm, I'm thinking that's actually not as clear. Oops, I've just got to go around the car here. I'm thinking that's actually not as clear as when I'm further away from it. And in fact, if I move my seat right back, I'd never drive this far back, it's too, it hurts my arms too much. But even that's relatively clear. So it's, it's been well designed to pick up your voice at a reasonable distance and somehow cancel out that car background noise. So in real life, the Motorola Pro, big thumbs up. In terms of what I can hear, uh, what I found in real life is the Motorola is definitely the clearest. It's, it sounds nice, it's not harsh. It's even nice to listen to music through it from your iPhone. The Parrot one was really tinny and I found it annoying so I had to turn it up fairly loud to be able to hear what was coming out of it. So loud in fact that it was kind of very harsh and painful on my ears. The Jabra one was somewhere in the middle, so it wasn't as nice as the Motorola, but it wasn't as bad as the Parrot. I'm just going to carry on for a bit more, um, and just, just so that you can have a really good long test of the Motorola. I'll try talking in a really quiet voice, and what you'll find is even if I talk as quietly as I can, you should be still able to hear me. In fact, even if I whisper, you can still hear me. So the Motorola definitely picks me up well when I'm talking really quietly like this. And if I shout really, really loud, it doesn't seem to make it sound any clearer. If anything, it's worse. And I think what you also notice is when I talk loudly and when I talk really softly, the Motorola adjusts the volume so that the person on the other end is getting a similar kind of volume no matter how I'm talking. So it's actually, I'm impressed with it, it's a good piece of engineering. The Jabra, it's going in the bin. The Parrot, it's going in the bin. The Motorola, I think I'll keep here and I'll keep using it. The other thing probably useful to say is that when I'm giving commands to Siri, the Motorola is clear enough that Siri can um, understand me fairly well. So I've been able to dictate emails. Um, I've been able to make phone calls. 
I just press the button and then Siri, and then I just say, you know, phone Wayne home and off it goes. So Motorola Roads to Pro, actually pretty good. You're probably bored now, I'm getting a bit bored, so I might sign off, but I hope that's been a helpful bit of a review um, of the Motorola Roads to Pro. See you later.